What's up guys, GJT Freak here with another iPhone 3G quick tip. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to bring up alternate characters on your keyboard. So this is a cool little trick, it will come in handy for you if you need to type any letters that require accents or anything like that um, without actually having to change or adjust your keyboard settings at all. So this is a, just basically a cool little shortcut. Um, I'm not sure how many of you out there know about this. I for one didn't know about this until I discovered it. So I'm going to show you guys what you need to do in order to do this. Uh, so let's get started. Basically, um, it's it's pretty straightforward. It's there's not any real uh, real difficult thing you have to do here to get this to work. All you do is you just take the corresponding letters. So um, I'll show you guys which letters this works with. So uh, say you want to do an E like with some kind of accent on it. You basically just hit. I'm gonna just switch fingers here because it'll be a little easier for you to see. Basically hit E. Okay. So you hit E, and there you go. You just hold it down. It brings up all the different accents that E has. You slide over to the one you want to pick and release. And there you go. That's it. Um, and I'll show you guys what keys this works with now. Um, we'll start with letters and then we'll move on to the symbols that it works with. So uh, you already know it works with E. It also works with Y. Come on. There you go. It works with Y, U. U, I, O, L, S, A, Z, C, oops, and N. So those are all the letters I could find that it works with. I went through every letter on the keyboard to try to figure out which ones it does work with and which ones it doesn't work with. Uh, those are the only ones I could find it to work with. If you find any more, please let me know. I'd be I'd be uh, curious to find out uh, if I missed anything. So, um, all right. So now we're gonna move on to symbols, and uh, this is cool. This is um, this will come in handy um, if you are uh, typing in. Say you need to type something in Spanish real quick, but you're mostly typing English or something like that. Um, you know how they have some of those funky little accents, uh, especially on like um, exclamations where they have uh, the upside down exclamation point thing, or they have the same thing with the question mark, upside down question mark. Um, so that's two of them right there, exclamation and question mark. Um, it also works with quotations. It basically gives you different types of quotations and a couple little uh, arrow symbols here, these two. Um, what else? Let me think. Okay, oh, it also works with, I just remembered, it also works with the, um, no, not the comma, the apostrophe. Yep, it also works with the apostrophe, so you can get uh, a couple different, um, excuse me guys, a couple different um, symbols there for the apostrophe. And um, it also works with the currency sign as well. So if I hit the dollar sign right there, brings up all the different dollar signs that it has. Um, this one at the end, I, I I can't figure out what this one is. If anybody knows what this one is, um, please tell me because I'm curious. I know what the rest of these are, but this one I have no idea. I've never seen that one before. So um, let me know, guys. I, I don't know what that one is. Um, so in case you guys don't know you can get some of the dollar signs by going here like the uh... the yen the the pound the euro stuff like that just by hitting this third menu but you don't really need to go all the way back to that menu if you use this shortcut and that's it that's all you gotta do so alright guys thanks for watching this is gjt freak with an iphone 3g quick tip and um... yeah keep checking back i got a lot more coming for you guys i got a couple more tips on the way i do have um another unboxing coming up soon and I also may have a giveaway coming around soon too so keep an eye out for that um, and yeah that's all guys so alright thanks for watching peace